What's up everybody, welcome back, and today we are talking Game Boy Operator. Yeah, so today we are talking about the Game Boy Operator. You might be wondering, what the heck is that? What is that thing called? And this is what it looks like here. I'll try it out of my face. This is a Game Boy Operator. This is a neat little device that allows you to back up your save data from Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance games to your computer. So, if you're like me and you have a huge Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance collection, there's a good chance that you really enjoy playing those games. There's a good chance you have some RPGs there, that you have a lot of hours of save data in those kind of games. And as awesome as that library is, and really as sturdy and long lasting uh, cartridges have been, have proven to be, um, there is an unfortunate realization that sooner or later, these things will degrade or die out. So when we're talking Game Boy Advance, for example, the Game Boy Advance, in order to save their data, it works in a more effective way compared to Game Boy, Game Boy Color. The Game Boy Advance saves their data through a chip that's on the cartridge board, which is more effective and long lasting. Now there are some Game Boy Advance games that utilize a battery in the cartridge. Uh, Pokemon games for one, those are the ones that I'm more familiar with. Uh, however, the, the battery is used for uh, in-game clock features like tracking daytime, nighttime cycles. I know with Pokemon Emerald, for example, the battery inside that cartridge is used to track passage of time. So when you pick berries, when you plant berries in Emerald, um, you know, 24 hours pass, you should have uh, a new tree that has grown or a new berry, you know. So when the battery runs out in, for example, in Emerald, um, let's say you pick a berry, uh, it's always going to stay empty because whenever you turn the game back on, the battery is just going to register it. Since the battery is drained, it's going to register as day one always. So um, even though you can play the game, even though you could save normally, you just lose, lose access to the kind of like that specific feature. However, when we talk Game Boy and Game Boy Color, they do require a battery to retain saves. And this goes for a lot of their games, Pokemon games, uh, I know Final Fantasy, some RPGs that they have there as well, the Zelda games, um, they have a battery that is used to save data onto those cartridges. I have a copy of Zelda here, and you can see right there, you can see at the corner, you can see how there's a battery right there. That battery is used to retain saved data. So what does this mean? It basically means that um, when this battery dries out and runs out, you will no longer be able to save your games anymore. It will erase all progress that you have made. So enter the Epilogue Game Boy Operator. This is a nifty little device that allows you to back up your save data. Uh, it backs them up to your computer. So it is always good to have a backup plan in case the worst happens, right? So let's just kind of go over the features and you kind of be the judge if this is something that works for you or not. All right, let's get started. All right, guys, so I'm gonna show you this angle to make things a little bit easier here for me in terms of the editing for B-roll. So when you first get your, app, uh, your Game Boy operator, it comes in this box. And here there is a pamphlet that with a list of instructions. And here you're gonna get a link to a site that you could type in. So the pamphlet comes in with a link to the site. Now you could go to the site itself and go to downloads right there. Downloads, I'm already in the download page here. You could see you could pick for Windows, Mac, or Linux. And from there you download it and then you just basically run the installer and you're good to go. All right, so once it's downloaded, you could just open, and once you have it installed, you could open up the operator and you're gonna get this window. It's gonna say it's searching. All you have to do is get your operator, right, just right here, right here, plug it into a cable. And what you're gonna want to do is directly plug it into your computer. And it'll be right here. I put it here on the side. There we go. So once that is up, you have a little light that goes off right there. And then there you'll say, please insert a cartridge. So for preferences here, let's go with uh, Donkey Kong uh, Country, right there. We'll plug that in. And you get an instant connection. So right here, you have a menu. It gives you a brief description of the game. And it has a launch button here. Now we'll get to that later. First, we want to go to data. Let's cover the backup save data first. And you're going to want to go to download save right here. You go to download save, transfer a duplicate of your save data from the cartridge to your computer, and you can back up your save file or edit with an external program. So basically, you hit start, and it's going to take you to this window where you select where you want it to go. 
the cool thing is that you could organize it however you want. So I created an epilogue backups folder in my computer and I have a saves folder. And I'll hit save. Boop. I think it already did it. Yes, it did. It just does it really, really fast. It's very, very fast at doing this. It's super easy. And that's basically the upload. Uh, you're uploading your save data. Once it's there, you got it. Or you could hit upload save, transfer duplicate of your save data from your computer to the cartridge and pick up the game right where you left off. And you could do that as well. You could send the, save, the last save file you have back, to, back into the cartridge if you want to do that as well. So that's your main feature. Super easy to use, it's easy to install, it's quick, it's fast responsive, and that's something that I really enjoy. It's nothing that's gonna take too long, it's not a tedious process. It's literally plug, connect, download, you're done. Now let's cover some of the other features that this device has. The other one that you know I was also really interested in was it has a cartridge authenticator. This means that it can like scan the cartridge and tell you if it's actually authentic or not. So we're gonna test this out with two games. I have here, uh, a copy of Pokemon if this thing wants to focus right here I have a copy of Pokemon Leaf Green and a copy of the Minish Cap this is a reproduction cartridge I know and this one is authentic so let's test that out and there instant connection and let's zoom in real quick this is one zoom as I can get but you're going to get this green circle here and it's gonna say official cartridge this lets you know that the game is authentic, that it is real. So now let's try the Minish Cap. You can see here, it has a yellow bubble, a yellow circle, and it says unofficial cartridge. It is unfortunate. It is a sad one for me because I, this was one of the first games I got when I started collecting uh, back in 2017. And really, I didn't really know much about reproduction cartridges. I bought it from a game store and I didn't find out till years later that it was actually uh, a reproduction cartridge. So um, it, I was upset when I found that out, but I mean, it is what it is, you know, you learn your lessons. Now this is a cool feature and all, but I want you guys to also know that there are ways to identify uh, between an authentic cartridge and a fake one by looking at it, by opening up the cartridge itself and looking at the board, identifying that it's authentic or not. So I mean, there are other ways to identify cartridges as well. It, doesn't have to be done specifically through this device. However, it is a pretty cool feature that they add on to it. Now, another cool feature that this thing has is that it allows you to directly play your cartridge with the program itself as well. Now, another cool feature that this thing has is that you can play your game directly on the computer with the cartridge connected to the operator on the analog uh, software application. So if I hit launch, going to launch the game and there you go and what's cool is that you have keyboard connections hold up you have keyboard connections or you can connect a controller which i will connect one just for the just to show you guys uh, there we go i have it connected we hit start and sweet you can play this here on your controller i have it on an 8-bit though let's uh hit start so there is a menu here, you hit the settings tab, and it opens up a whole array of options here. You have preferred language, auto save, um, which I have disabled, it is in beta. Um, fast forward, you could make it faster, high fidelity mode, you have a lot of options here. I personally have not gone deep into this, and this has recently been updated, but you have a lot of ways to cut to play this game. You can customize it to your liking, which is really cool. You have device settings, you know, LED settings, choose an option below to set the saturated device to LED light. So that just changes the color of the, the light here on, on the operator, uh, if you want, just for aesthetic sakes, I guess. <laughs> and then here, you know, you have your your uh, your button maps or whatever. Now, for whatever reason, the Mac reads this as a PS4 controller. <laughs> this is an 8-bit though one, but you could hit rebind keys and you can make A, A and B, B, up, left, down, right. Uh, uh, start and select and cool hit save and there we go let's try it out perfect all right and yep, just like that i am playing pokemon be green on my computer now this is a cool feature um i like it because i do like every now and then connecting my my uh, game boy games or game boy advance games 
to my Game Boy Player on the GameCube and just kind of playing on the big screen. So this is kind of another way of doing that, just with better resolution, you know, better, more vibrant colors, you know, and I think that's really cool. And I just think it's another cool added feature that this device carries that it is optional that I think it's, I think it's pretty cool that they thought of that. Let's go to the next feature here, data. Here you could download the game to the computer. Store game data on your computer, creating a digital replica of your collection. Game files can be used with your preferred emulator. So yeah, I have Donkey Kong Country right here. Um, I have OpenMU right here. Let me just make sure I don't have it, just so I show you guys. Okay, I do not have Donkey Kong Country here, so perfect. So I hit download. It's already there, I hit start. Let's go to, I have a folder here for games. I'll put that there, I'll save it, and it'll start downloading the file. Games, Donkey Kong Country, which is right there. Click and drag. Okay. And once you click and drag it, there it is. It's right there, Donkey Kong Country, ready to play. Now, obviously, we all know ROMs are free. You know, you can go on Google, go to your favorite website, you can download ROMs for free and play them with your emulator all as well without having to spend fifty dollars for a device you know but again i think this is just kind of an added feature into this device to just kind of give it value now there is one other feature that the epilogue has and it's apparently you can connect the game boy camera and upload photos from the camera into the computer or you could with the device you can control the camera and take photos I don't own a Game Boy camera, unfortunately, so I don't know how effective this works. But again, another cool feature. I would like to get my hands on a Game Boy camera, maybe do a follow-up video and, and show you guys how that works. But that's a conversation for another day, unfortunately. All right, so the final kind of conclusion here. Is this product worth it? I'm going to say yes. The sole reason why I think the Game Boy operator uh, is, is definitely worth it having is the ability to back up your save data to your computer. Something I do appreciate that Epilogue did is that they tried their best to give value to this $50 purchase. I think $50 for an item that only backs up your save data, you know, could be debatable. The fact that they include in these extra features there and they try their best to kind of make it, you know, accessible and give it quality, quality of life improvements, I think it's cool. But those are things that honestly you can live without. At the end of the day, there are other methods into identifying authentic and reproduction cartridges, you know, that are free. At the end of the day, ROMs are free. You could download them and play them in your emulator of choice right now, you know, and, and, it, and it won't be a problem. At the end of the day, there are those methods there. And if, and if honestly, if you're in kind of that camp where it's like, you know, I don't really play games physically like that, like this, really doesn't make any sense to own at all but if you're kind of somebody that's on kind of my side where you have a physical collection and you have your games and you actually treasure them and you worry about that save data um then i think this is something that you should look into keep in mind guys game boy color games game boy games they're almost 30 years old pokemon red came out in 1996 1997 it is 26 years old it is getting close to 30 years. If, 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 the, if you have a cartridge and have never replaced its battery, there's a good chance that at some point it is going to run dry. So if that matters to you, and I think that is kind of the key word here, if that stuff matters to you, then yeah, it, I think it should be important for you to have um, a device like the operator available to you. Um, being able to have a backup of your stuff is very important in, in today's day and age. All right guys, so this is the Game Boy Operator. Um, this is more or less how it works, the features that it has. What do you think? Do you think the $50 price tag for this is fair? Do you think it's steep? Do you think it's just right? I personally think it's just right. I think they did enough to warrant the purchase. Um, and I think, at least for what it serves me, it serves a very, very valuable uh, necessity for the stuff that I have. So what do you guys think? Do you see yourself owning something like this in the future? Do you think it's worth it? Do you think it's pointless? Let me know in the comments below and just give me your thoughts on what you think of this video. All right, guys, so thank you all for watching this video. Be sure to like and subscribe. 
on the channel and keep on supporting it. I really appreciate all the support you guys have shown and I'll see you all next time.